Hello, welcome dreamers. So this will be the first part of my video with some of the frozen food items so I can tuck them away. So here we go. I got four of these banquet mega mega bowls. I can't even talk. This is the Buffalo style chicken mac and cheese. And my kids really like them. They're a great go-to. Then I got one Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage bowl, which is also really good. Several of the Golden Crust Jamaican style chicken patties. We like these. They're really yummy. And they're just like the ones that you can get from the actual Jamaican um, stores, you know, the food places. Then I got several of the Mama Celeste pizzas, just a regular cheese. One of the Jimmy Dean croissant sausage and egg. So this was three, three dollars, a dollar twenty five each. A dollar twenty-five each, three dollars each, and these are a dollar twenty-five each. These are the fast bites. We like the spicy chicken, so I got four of those. Okay, so now on to the regular video. Hello, and welcome back, my dreamers. Welcome, welcome. This is a Dollar Tree haul today. Everything is a dollar twenty-five, and it is all low. Cool. Check out my last Dollar Tree haul. I found lots of new items and they may be in your stores as we speak. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what I picked out this time. All right. So I did get a bag of the Columbina Sweet Christmas Marshmallows. Okay. And they come in three different shapes. So we have, we have the snowman. It looks like a snowman. We have something that looks like a Christmas tree and one that looks like a candy cane. Now, they normally bring these every the holiday from, you know, at least from my experience. And these have a best by date of 6 of 2024. Really good best by date. And these are yummy. They don't taste bad at all. So, yeah. So, we got ourselves a bag of these. Those are very good. I do have on my Christmas scarf from Dollar Tree, and it comes with the little bells, okay? This is really cute, very festive, so I'll be rocking this, okay? I'll keep it in here in my craft room so I can remember to put it on. Then um, we did food, so let me show you one other foodie item that I did purchase to share with you. Actually, two. All right. This is the coppers. I shared this two, two or three hauls ago. These are the espresso beans. And you guys, these are so good. Oh, these are so good. Yes. So if you were hesitant about trying these espresso beans, um, they're delicious. I highly recommend them. This would make a wonderful gift with a card. It's, this is like a high end candy. Uh, this is definitely for adults and adult candy. It's not like kiddo theme unless your kiddo enjoys coffee. Don't do it. <laughs> so definitely consider getting this. And this is a two ounce. I'm trying to tell you this stuff is good. It is good. I'm trying to tell you. All right. And then I did get some more Weilers, but I got the strawberry lemonade. This time they finally brought it back. I was like, when are they going to bring back my strawberry lemonade? They finally brought it back. So I got myself a box and, um, yeah, this helps me chug back that water that, uh, that I'm trying to, uh, you know, increase my water intake. It makes it so much easier. Now for a stocking stuffer, they had this a front line and center. As soon as you walk in, this is the light up led necklace. Okay. So they have that right now, the light up led necklaces. I got three. This is always a fun one to have during Christmas for the kids. You know, th these are great. I got to put that there because I put that as a stocking stuffer. Then, um, let's talk about fabric. Now, I know, I know I'm, I got to think about fabric. I do. I love it when I can find a really pretty themed fabric and I'm pretty sure I already have this one and I started cutting it up and I did the pillow project with this. Yeah, I did the pillow project with this. Um, I showed you how to make your own really pretty door hanging pillows. It was an easy DIY. Even my husband was like, wow, these are nice. I was like, I made them. I did. I made it. He was like, these are nice. 
I used this fabric. And I found two more. And I love this fabric. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. You see everything? It's just so pretty. I, I always say immediately take off these tags because they can damage the fabric. So if you could take off that tag immediately, you'll save yourself a lot of grief and damage to your, to, um, this, what is, what is this considered an 18 by 21? Okay. So I'm glad that, and these were just, it was weird. I walked past the sticker department and these were just laying there like together by themselves. Not even with the fabrics. It was just like it was waiting for me. It was destiny. I'm trying to tell you. Again, you can make bags. You can make, make you could cover up notebooks. You could do so many things with these. You can even cut strips of these and update little hand towels in your kitchen. You can make table napkin table napkins out of this. There's just so many things that you can do. There's, I mean, the only limit is your imagination. Like I always say, that's your only limit, girl. Is you. Only limit. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, because we were in the crafty department, super excited to see that they had the Crafter Square Smaller Diamond Painting Keychain Kits. These are so cool. So I was able to find a cupcake and this is what your kit is going to look like. Okay. So you're going to get your little keychain. This is the keychain. And you're going to get your um your diamonds, okay? They're called drills actually, but your well, calm diamonds just for then you have your picker and then you have your little plate. That's where you put them in. You shake up the little plate and then they'll go into the direction they need to go to and then you can just pick and then you just follow the design and boom, you'll have your own Custom made keychain diamond painted. We also had the butterfly. They had the cactus. Okay. And that's what it looks like in the back for the butterfly. And then lastly, they had a drink. It looks like a coffee drink or something. It looks like a coffee drink, some kind of, some kind of drink right there. You see, like a little drink. So you have these four variations. These are the only ones I was able to find, but I'm super excited about these. I enjoy diamond painting. I do. I like diamond painting. I just never shared that part of me with you guys yet. I know this is like open. I just haven't shared that part yet with you guys of the things that I like. There's a lot of stuff I do that I haven't shared with y'all yet. So. Maybe I'll do that because that's like, it's, that's kind of hard to film because it's so little. Maybe once I have like better, a better cell phone to do it because I, I do everything on my cell phone. Maybe I'll be able to do it. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let's continue on. Now, I'm walking into the candle department, picture department, and they have some new stickers in there. I'm like, what? They have a whole bunch of them that are brand new. They have like this really cool stop sign that like a boy, like for his room, he could put stop at. They have uh, all kinds of really cute ones, but let me show you what I got. Uh, so I got this one. Yes, this beautiful, beautiful heart. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Okay. So lots of options. I like to put stickers on my computer. I do. And I also have like these, um, rolly cart trays that are full of my, my, uh, crafting supplies and I can like, you know, make things happen or you could put them on your notebooks. You could put it on your happy planner on top. You could do whatever you want with this. I mean, it's so pretty. You know me, uh, I'll, uh, it's just so pretty. Then I got these two. Now I got them when it says dream, of course. I found this one several years ago and I had this on my computer until it literally fell apart. And then I, took it, I finally took it off because it was just like, it was literally falling apart from use. So there you go. It says dream. So I got dream. That'll look cute 
here in my craft room too. Then I got Smile because I thought that that was just so pretty. Look at the colors. So it says Smile. Love it. Then they also had Blessed. They had, I think, like Welcome. And then they had something else. They had something else. I can't remember what it was, but I told myself, let me get the things that are calling out to me now. And if they still have these other little ones, I'll get them next time. I will. Scarf. Don't forget to get your scarf. It's so cute. Love it. All right. Now, in the beauty department, let's go on to beauty, honey. I found the, um, actually, in the hair department. Let me take that back. Let's go backwards. In the hair department, they had the Barbasol double-sided bore brush. Okay, soft and firm bristles. There you go. This will be for my husband. I got two because uh, he always keeps a bag for, you know, for the shop, for our business. Because my husband does like 16, 17, 18 hour days. And, you know, I always tell him, you know, take the time, take care of yourself, spruce up, you know, he's a mechanic. And yeah, so he always has like a toiletry bag there. And then of course his toiletries here, toothbrush, you know, everything. So one will be for his toiletry bag at the shop and one for here. And so that's for him. And then I found the uh, Volcanic Stone. Um, absorbing facial roller ball absorbs rotating ball reusable portable now I had gotten the original one I think by Revlon and I bought one for my daughter and one for me that was back in the day when it first came out because these have been out for a while so to get it for a dollar 25 <laughs> yes 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 so I went on ahead and got one booyah for $1.25 because that's crazy and that ball really and truly absorbs the oil like if you have an oily nose you wake up in the morning it's like an oil slick you use that ball and it'll like pick up the oils it really and truly does so there you go and then I also found the LA Colors lip balm now the reason why guilty Q packaging. I told you it does it every time. Q packaging. They look like little bears or something. So stinking cute. So I got this, you know, this cute lemon looking one. It's actually pineapple, like pineapple. And then the one is this orange. I had to do it. I had to do it. Let's see if it even smells like that. Let's pop it open. Okay, so this is a pineapple one. If this smells like pineapple, then I might go ahead and buy another one and send it to my daughter-in-law. She loves anything pineapple. I just thought about that. She loves anything pineapple. It smells like pineapple. It does smell like pineapple. Okay, so, and it's clear. So that's nice. So it's a nice clear lip balm. Okay. Let's see if this one smells like peach. Peach. And look how cute that packaging is. You see the little bear face? Here, let me go like that. You see the little bear face? Look how cute that is. I know. It's so stinking cute. And it has like really nice foiling. Again, this is by LA Colors. That other really cute lip balm thing that looks like a little cupcake. That smells so bad. Oh. That thing smells so bad, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Smells like peach. Yeah. It smells like peach. It smells like peach. And it's clear. See so that? It's nice and clear. So these are going to be nice for me to use here in my craft room. I'll put this along with my other lip balms. And that is everything for this haul. So I hope you guys come back because I do have a couple more bags I'm going to share with you. So you're going to see me wearing the same thing back to back, but you'll see me on different days. So see you then. Bye.